Hey Heath. Hey Kevin. So LED bulbs, lots to like about them these days. A lot to like about these. There are a couple of great features about these now. First, longevity. They right. last much longer than the incandescents we're used to. They can be 5, 10, 15 years, sometimes longer depending on how much you really use them. That is crazy. The other thing, obviously, is the energy usage. Drastic change. I mean, we're using as little as 10% of what we used to use an equivalent lamp. Right. And in terms of equivalency, we do have to think about them a little bit different from the old incandescents because, you know, a 60 watt incandescent bulb told us a lot about it, including right. what color it was, how much light it put out, those types of things. It was what it was. You got a 60 watt bulb, that's what you got. Now we'll get a 60 watt bulb, but we have to take into account that it doesn't use 60 watts anymore. We're looking for a 60 watt equivalent. Right. And that's going to use maybe 10%, 12%, depending on what it is. And, and so then you have to ask yourself, well, how bright do you want it to be? Because right. it's no longer just the wattage. So then we're looking at lumens. Right. So it really says it on the box. I mean, this is a perfect example. A 40 watt replacement, mm -hmm. but it only uses 5.7 watts. Right. Which now really gets us kind of confused. But then it tells us 480 lumens. Correct. So that's your light output. The actual visible light output that you're going to get out of it. Right, which is pretty good. So the box is going to help you make those choices. The other thing that we have to think about is color. We right. don't have a lot of choice in the incandescent. Incandescent was what it was. And now we have choice. So we have a scale that goes down from the lower 2000s up as high as I think in the 10,000s, but our realistic scale for what we're going to see is between 2700 to 5000. Lower the number, the warmer the bulb, closer to incandescent. Exactly. And then as we move up the scale, it gets brighter, whiter, bluer. bluer. Right. So this is something that you know may or may not be comfortable in a living room. Yeah, so you're going to want to use this in a garage, in a shop, utility area, something like that. Down on this scale, for me, this would be more of the living room, maybe something in the 3K, somewhere in the kitchens. Right. So uh, for the color, you have to pick the bulb. Mm -hmm. um, but you've actually shown us fixtures where you can the fixture can determine the color. Right. So before, you used to have to actually pick the color, pick the style, do everything. Now we have an all-in-one. So most devices are coming through this way where you can select the color you want. So you're buying one and getting to choose. So a, a recessed light um, goes in the ceiling, obviously, and you've got access to that when it pops out of the ceiling. That's tremendous. Yeah, so start it at 2700. It's not enough in your kitchen. Bump it up to 3000. I like the fact that the shapes are normal. Right. The compact fluorescents, not the, the curly cues or any of that stuff. It's terrible. I mean, these look like a traditional incandescent. It bulb. does. And even better, they make them that fit any size and shape now. So we've got, uh, you know, an outdoor one. It's clear. That's going to look pretty good. You got the candelabra, you got the unique bulbs. It fits anything that you have. All they make them for LEDs. everything. If you're going to dim them, you want to make sure that you get a bulb that is ready to be dimmed. Okay. Nope, says it right on there, dimmable. It so does. the bulb is able to be dimmed. And you want to get an LED rated dimmer as well. It might work with a regular dimmer, but it's kind of a 50 50 shot at it. It might strobe, it might have flat spots, it might not work well. So make sure you get an LED compatible dimmer, LED dimming bulb. Perfect. All right. Heat output, not bad at all. I mean, Nothing. almost, I mean, compared to the old incandescents. Yeah, you can't even touch it. Even at 40 watts, you really can't touch that. This you can just hold on all day. The one thing you do want to watch out for, though, is some of these are rated to be in enclosed fixtures, and some aren't. Even though there's not much heat, there's still a little bit that gets given off. Enclosed fixtures being a, a glass bulb around a ceiling mount. Exactly. So where the uh, bulb is totally enclosed by the glass, that's an enclosed fixture. Or even if it's mostly enclosed, it still can trap in a little bit of the heat in the back. You want to make sure you get a bulb that's built for the purpose. I'm trying to figure out if I can find it on the package, but sure enough, I right can. Right there. Lots of information on there. Good information from you. Thank you, Heath. All right, thanks. LEDs, wave of the future, right? They're not going away. They're not turning back. Thanks for watching. This old house has got a video for just about every home improvement project, so be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button. Make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.